we stand at the threshold of a great dawning. Something deep within life is changing. An era is ending. And at the very core of creation, something new is being born. strong words there uh, by the Prime Minister as expected uh, of Israel and especially interesting his final statement that he said we are not bound by this deal and that Israel will continue to protect itself time will tell um, how that will play itself out he also called it a right okay. Tillion stands between seven and eight feet tall and as expected has the look of a reptile. They too are erect standing bipeds. The head is slightly conical in shape and has two bony ridges riding from the brow across a back sloping skull. There appears to be no bridge between the eyes. Nasal openings are at the end of a small flattened nose and are described as two small slits that slant upwards in a V formation. Small openings can be seen on the side of their heads, but no ears as such. Open your mind. Right? Okay. eyes contain vertically slit pupils with a flame or an orange colored surround. They have wide lipless mouths which contain various types of teeth including fangs. Some have thin fleshy spines under their chin. Their skin is scaled, usually greenish brown or light grey in color and hairless. The scales on their backs, thighs and upper arms are quite large with hands, abdomen and face being covered with smaller scales allowing more flexibility. Reptilians' bodies are lean and firm with powerful arms and legs, long arms and three fairly long fingers and an opposable thumb. The feet have three toes and one recessed fourth toe that is toward the backside of the ankle. Claws on the hands and feet are short and blunt. They do not have teeth on their upper torso and there is no navel. How do they behave? The ruling caste of indigenous reptilian consider themselves to be the genuine natives of the earth and humans to be squatters. A group of reptilians is known as a hive and the race is absolutely void of any care, concern or compassion for human beings. The worker caste can be friendly as long as they are allowed to speak first. They will answer if you address them, are very cautious beings and consider most humans to be hostile. They usually seem surprised when they find that most humans are open and trustworthy. The working caste is generally used for physical labour and they have a no-nonsense get-back-to-work attitude. They have a different attitude to time than humans. 
it is not as important to them in the way that it is to us.